Studies Organization of America. This movement was to determine whether African American slaves would be allowed to move into the new territories of the West. At the core of the free soil movement was territorial growth. When Americans started to move out to the West, they made different deals with Indian foreign and foreign governments to get more land. The majority compromise declared that if a Western area was under specific latitude, then slavery was justified. But if it was over the line, then slavery was not allowed. This bill worked for a while, but soon uh, some of the people of the North in the North started to dislike the idea of slavery even more. Abolitionists, or people who wanted to completely abolish slavery, soon rose up and began to fight against Southern slavery. They began their fight against slavery by writing anti-slavery books and also by stealing slaves from the South. They would not stop until slavery was eliminated and African Americans were equal. The Liberty Party, which formed as a third party group under the abolitionist ideals, gained enough support in the North to influence the coming elections. However, for some Northerners, the complete end of slavery seemed a bit radical, and they only wanted slaves out of the new territories being formed. In contrast to the abolitionists in the North, a Southern group called the Knights of the Golden Circle arose. This group believed that if their right to slavery was denied, the Union should be destroyed. The Wilmot Provisio began the ideology of the Free Soil Movement. David Wilmot proposed not to get rid of slavery, but rather not to let it into the new Mexican territories. He said it would sustain the institutions of the South as they exist. He also said, the issue now presented is not whether slavery shall exist unmolested where it is now, but whether it shall be carried to new and distant regions, now free, where the footprints of a slave cannot be found. This amendment was the first in which the party system split, so that Northerners voted for this amendment and Southerners voted against it. This split gave a glimpse that the South would rather leave the Union than give up slavery. The basic idea of not allowing slaves into the new areas is the basis of the Free Soil Party. Free soil, free speech, free labor, free men is the motto of the Free Soil Party. The Liberty Party wanted equality for African Americans in every way. The Free Soil Party also wanted African American equality. However, they realized that in order to gain the support of the South, they needed the policy of white manism, which banned African Americans from the new territories. The North thought that if the South could have slaves in, the new t in their new territories and they could not, the South would have an unfair economic advantage over them. People in the Free Soil Party wanted more work opportunities for whites and they thought that slave labor would threaten the availability of white labor. In the long run, the idea that African Americans would take jobs away from whites and that they did not belong in the new territories increased racism in the North. The Free Soil Party and its ideals grew stronger and more people decided to join it, making it one of the most influential third parties ever. In the election of 1848, the new ideas of anti-slavery in the new territories forced the candidates for president to be careful about what they said. If they supported anti-slavery in the new territories, then the South would not vote for them. And if they supported slavery, then the North would not vote for them. Lewis Cass, the Democrat candidate, made a doctrine which was very vague on this point. It roughly stated that no matter what a state did when attaining statehood, either the slave owners or the abolitionists or free socialists would be angered. General Zachary Taylor, a slaveholding war hero, made his stance clear by saying that he was a war hero and that he was above politics. The Free Soil Party got their support, got support from the Whigs and the Liberty Party and nominated Martin Van Buren. General Zachary won because he vote, because votes were stolen from cast by Buren, because of which neither received enough votes to win. <laughs> 